Make sure to watch to the end of this video to see the final results. Let's go. First step is to get the references. I go into Pinterest and search for different robots. When I find one, I drag them into the software called PureRev. It's super nice because you can gather all the images onto the same page. Next step is to go to Mixamo and get the animation that you want. This looks nice. Okay, let's download. Back in Blender, I start modeling roughly the shape of the robot. Don't be too precise in this process. Copy, paste, drag, shade smooth. Don't be afraid to reuse objects that you already modeled. Now it's time to add some detail to our metal boy. You know, adding that, that greebling stuff, the, 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 the s that makes the render look good. But because we're lazy as fuck, we just go into TurboSquid and download a Kitbash collection. Then you just import the collection you downloaded and start dragging different parts onto your robot. Hmm, nice, looks good. Because our robot boy is gonna listen to some music, let's just download some headphones. Bruh. Nah, fuck that. Import an object. Add a subdivision surface modifier to it, to give it some bevel. Now add a curve, drag it into the right shape that you like, add a curve modifier to the object and parent it to the curve. Nice. Drag the curve into the right shape, scale down, then add the final pieces to the robot, and I think we're done. Apply some black shadings to the headphones. For the rest of the body, I just added some chrome and gold on different parts. Just go with what feels right. Let's try and render it out. Now we finally got our shiny boy. Select the parts you want to move and then go into pose mode. Here you select the correct bones and press Ctrl P to parent. Now repeat this process until all the pieces are connected to the skeleton. It should look something like this. This step is optional. You just add some flowers, some hills, some grass, and some sky, and I think we're done. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you like the end result. Let's go.